What's going on? I just got something in the mail. Let's open it, shall we? Oh yeah, Google Home Hub. I pre-ordered this actually. I uh, was pretty impressed by the little presentation thing that they did and then they announced the price and I was like, oh, hell yeah, I will take it. I've had a Google Home for probably about two years now and uh, really like it. It's one of those things that, yeah, you don't need it per se, but it's kind of nice once you have it. So this is actually going to replace that one in the living room. And then the one in the living room is gonna go in the bedroom so we can turn the hue lights and stuff, which are, you can see a few over here, turn the hue lights on and off from the bedroom a little bit easier. So, cool. Let's open it up. Just like that. Oh, it's so cute. The thing's kind of heavy. Kind of surprised. Like, it's it's actually got some heft. Um, it's smaller than I thought it would be, kind of. All right, now we gotta do power. First power on. Booting up. Oh, how cute. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. That's very interesting. Even though, I guess the speakers are down here because it sounds like it's facing you. It would make sense, right? Let's get rid of this screen protector. Come off, you. Obviously, I already have a Google Home app on my phone because we already have a Google Home. But for those of you that do not have one of these, that is how you set them up. Oh, just found the volume button. There we go. The mic's off. The mic's back on. Okay, so the switch on top is just for the mics. I'm gonna turn this light off, so hopefully you guys can see it a little better. We're gonna bump this down so you can read it. Like that, like that. There we go. But I already have the app, obviously, so let's crank that bad boy up. You go in here, and there's a little three buttons up there. No, maybe not. <laughs> Learning this as we go, people. Shield, living room. Uh, yeah, dipshit. It's probably that big ad button right in front of your face. Stupid. <laughs> Jeez. Set up device. Uh, in your home. Oops, no. I didn't mean to do that. Go away. Just kidding. There we go. Yes, be able to control it. Okay, yeah, because I don't want to make a new home. I already have a home. Computer devices, and then you pick Google Home Hub. Just like that. Punch in the little code, which I assume it's going to ask me for any second now. <laughs> Maybe, or not. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yep, they match. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? And then this one is going to be in the living room, like that. And we are already on Wi-Fi. Simple enough, right? They've made it pretty dummy proof, I mean, all you have to do is just kind of read what it says and it'll do the rest for you. Answer a couple questions and poof, you're done. Uh, this is a few things to know before using your Google Home. Google Partners. Google Partners are businesses that have a commercial relationship with Google. 
services and your privacy. When you, when you use your assistant to talk to a service, Google shares information with that service so it can fulfill your request. Uh, guests and your assistant. Let friends and family know that their interactions will be stored in your Google account unless they link their account. All right, cool, whatever. Some reading material while that updates. Uh, voice match helps your assistant identify your voice and tell you apart from others by creating a unique model of your voice on this device. Definitely. You want the most accurate um, recognition it can get, and it's actually pretty good. Plus, if you do that, if I'm not mistaken, the Google Home can actually have multiple people assigned to it now, like uh, multiple accounts linked to it, which is amazing. That way my wife and I can both pull up our calendars, for instance. That kind of thing, it's pretty cool. I don't know if it was listening to me talk or what, but it's like, your voice match has been set up. Uh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Choose assistant's voice. So let's, uh, let's see, I gotta put it by the mic so we can hear it. I gotta turn up the volume too. Hold on one second. Actually, I have a mic plugged in because that is what is recording my voice. So... Uh, yeah, about that. If it's even recording still, which it is. So we will not be able to hear that right now. Um, we'll just let it rip and uh, go with the first one. Uh, you put your address in, which I'm not showing you guys. Add music services. Um, I actually have Pandora and YouTube Music. Hello. I guess that's just telling you that it works, I guess. Okay, cool. <laughs> YouTube music, play music, Spotify. Oh, okay, whatever. Add your video services. Um, I don't have any of these, so I don't really care. Set up duo audio calling. This is easily communicate with members of your household who have duo. Verify your phone number to create duo account. Um, I already have a Duo account, so I actually might set that up later. I'm not too worried about that. Or, well, yeah, not now. There we go. Google Photos. Apparently, I have stakes in my <laughs> Google Photos account. I use Google Photos. It's amazing. It's very good. You can actually set... Bling, bling, bling. You can actually set this up as a uh, kind of like... Um, they used to sell them back in the day. I don't know if they sell them anymore. Little picture frames. They look like an old school picture frame, but they're digital, it's just a little screen. And that's basically what this is anyway. So you can actually set this up like that too, which I thought was kind of a neat feature because I actually use Google Photos and I have a ton of um, a ton of pictures in there anyway. So I'll have to set up a um, album for that later. We'll just go with that for now. <laughs> oh, okay, let me see. We'll go, yeah, there. we'll just go favorites and uh, uh, then, okay. Oh, that's a light sensor right there. Automatically adjust brightness to blend in with the room. Nope, it's not a camera. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was. Uh, mic mute switch is that thing in the back I showed you. Volume controls are on the back right hand side of it if you're looking at it this way. Alrighty. Continue. Welcome to your Google Home Hub. It has the Google Assistant built in. Hi, how can I help? So you can use your voice to get help at a glance. Check it out. Jumpstart your day with a personalized routine. Just say, hey Google, good morning. For the weather, your calendar, reminders, and more. Your commute to work is 20 minutes by car. Simply tap to see your home screen, where you can get useful info about your day, check out videos and recipes, and explore all the things your assistant can do. Have a question? Just ask for help from Google or YouTube. Hey Google, show me how to cut a pineapple. Okay, playing on YouTube. Now you can see and control all of your devices from a single dashboard. 
just swipe down from the top of the screen for home view, where you can see the status of your home, view devices in each room, and adjust the lights, pause the TV, and monitor cameras, like the Nest Hello Video doorbell. Hey Google, show me the front door. Unwind in the evening with your favorite songs and videos from YouTube Music. Hey Google, play Dua Lipa. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen to adjust volume or brightness. Or use the volume buttons behind the right side of the display. To turn off the mics, simply slide the mic mute switch. And with live albums from Google Photos, Hub will automatically display the best and latest photos taken by you and your loved ones. Setup is simple in the Google Home app. You can also search for photos by voice. Hey Google, show me my photos from Hawaii. And aloha. What's this? The screen looks great. It's Hub's light sensor. It allows Hub to automatically match the colors and lighting in any room, so photos on Hub blend in with your home. And when it's time for bed, Hub knows to dim for a good night's sleep. I don't know what the resolution of the screen is. I'll, I'll annotate it over Remember, here somewhere. If you it looks really good though. More, just say, hey Google, what can you do? Ready to give Hub a try? Swipe from the left edge of the screen to exit and get started. <laughs> cool. How awesome is that? Yeah, so if you guys would like to see more about this thing, I actually have some pretty cool ideas for it. Yes, I'm kind of bending over because my setup isn't really made for me standing, but <laughs> yeah, if you want to see some more about this thing or if you have any questions or anything, leave it down below. I have some ideas of some stuff that I kind of want to try with it. Um, I had a plan for it when I bought it, but watching the little, uh, the little welcome video, I actually might put it in my kitchen by my sink because then when I get up in the morning, it's right there. I don't know. If you want to see a video about it, let me know. But I think I'm going to give that a shot. It's kind of a, a neat use case that I didn't really foresee when I ordered it. So like, share, subscribe, all that happy noise. Questions down below. Later.